Conor McGregor has been slammed by a number of high-profile MMA fighters after withdrawing from the UFC 303 main event against Michael Chandler due to an injured toe. Early in June, McGregor sends social media into a frenzy after the Dublin press conference for his fight with Chandler was cancelled. A couple of weeks later, the UFC cancelled the belt, and another week later, McGregor revealed that his withdrawal was due to a broken pinky toe. In a social media post, he said, We had a lapse in concentration and engaged in a training session without wearing the full protective gear, and I hit the toe off the elbow and broke the toe clean. It needs a few weeks, that's it. Kale Sonnen didn't buy Dana's claim, since he believes McGregor withdrew because he hasn't fully rehabbed from his alleged drug addiction. One incredible irony, that both sides have these massive interests in alcohol, and one side is in the middle of rehab for substance abuse, including alcohol. Not that that has anything to do with this. Two guys was it, was are pushing awesome? alcohol. Totally unrelated story. And then another guy is in rehab for alcohol and other substances. I'm just saying, that's a tough story to tell. Not for nothing, that gets to be a little bit tough, oh right? Have this proper oh. drink. I'll see you in a proper while, because I'm in a proper facility right now, watching me not have drinks. McGregor was furious at Sonnen's allegations, and he responded by posting a picture of his injured toe with a message that said, Shut your pie hole, Kale. You tap from ground and pound. After Sonnen's allegations, karma struck the Irishman in the form of Rafael Dos Anjos, who took to Twitter to remind the Irishman of his harsh words following the Brazilians' pullout ahead of their 2016 lightweight title fight. For those who don't know, Dos Anjos was set for a red painty night at UFC 196, but he pulled out of the fight due to a broken foot. McGregor was pretty harsh on the former UFC lightweight champion for his pullout. They all have sore vaginas lately. It's crazy. There's something going on. I don't know. Dos Anjos broke his foot and his vagina in the same damn day. And same with, same with Edgar. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe uh, the odds of, of that to happen. So, uh, but in fairness, in, in belt. If, if there's belts on the line, I'll rack the belts up. But I'm racking checks up and checks out way the belts. So. Dos Anjos' opportunity to fire back took eight years in the making and he didn't miss it. That's the difference between me and you, Connor. You finally got exposed. You got a pinky toe injury, while I got a broken foot. Matt Brown also took a few jabs at McGregor, saying, no one with any sense is mad at you, other than the fact that when Rafael Dos Anjos did it with an actual broken foot, you were a fucking dick about it. What goes around comes around. The karma is real. Now, Connor's dealing with it. If he would have just kept his mouth shut, then it would be total respect. You talk sh about other people doing it, and then you go and do it. McGregor has been linked to a number of fighters over the past few years, and one of them was Jorge Mas Vidal, who recently revealed that the UFC wanted to book a fight between the two maestros of the sport, but the Irishman didn't want the heat. The UFC's trying to make this fight happen, as Dana has said, and Conor doesn't want it. It's doesn't want the damn fight, you know, never mentions my name or anything. But we're the biggest possible fight. You think Michael Chandler versus Connor sells me, sells more than me versus Connor? Nobody in the right mind thinks that. Or Connor versus Cowboy sells more than me versus Connor? Nobody in the right mind thinks that, you know? I'm one of the biggest pay per view draws of the UFC of the last five, six years. Of course, we break all records and stuff, but this guy won't do it, you know? And also, me personally, I would never just sit around waiting for one fucking man to, to fight X, Y, Z years. You know, I get it for Chandler's in a different situation because he hasn't made that type of money. But me personally, like, bro, I, this guy pulls out once, she go fuck yourself. You know, I got shit. I got bigger fish to fry, you know. UFC featherweight champion Ilya Toporia believes McGregor is mentally broken. You are mentally broken. That is your biggest lesson. You doubt yourself, your abilities, your preparation. That's why you don't show up. Jake Paul is another hopeful who wants McGregor to lock horns with him in boxing, and he thinks the Irishman is simply embarrassing himself in MMA because he doesn't have what it takes to be a top fighter anymore. He hasn't won a fight in, what, six, seven years? I don't even know how long it's been. He's Pretty embarrassing fun. himself. He's, ru he's ruining his legacy with all the drugs and the way he looks online. He, he's, a, he's lost his mind. He's a maniac. And, like, at one point, Connor was great. Everyone loved Connor, but, man, I feel bad for the guy now. And so you could say all these things about him, but 
he hasn't proven it. He hasn't backed anything up. And that's the way I look at it is, is from the, the facts and, and the numbers. With McGregor out of the equation for a while, Islam Makachev will have to wait for a potential red panty night. In fact, it seems like he'll have to wait for Armand Zarukian as well, because the Armenian can't fight for at least six months due to a suspension. UFC lightweight contender Armand Sarukian has been fined $25,000 and suspended for nine months by the Nevada Athletic Commission. This comes after he threw a punch at a fan during his walkout for the fight against Charles Oliveira on April 13th in Las Vegas. The NAC announced the ruling during their monthly meeting on Tuesday. Sarukian's suspension will last until January 12th, 2025, but it could be reduced to six months if he releases an anti-bullying PSA approved by the commission. This would allow him to return to action by October 12th. The incident occurred when a fan gave Sarukian the middle finger during his walkout. In response, Sarukian threw a punch into the crowd, which was caught on camera. Though a suspension is bad news, it could have been worse for Sarukian had the fan decided to sue him. Instead, the fan apologized to Sarukian during an interview with Bloody Elbow. He said, I'd like to apologize to Armand for provoking him by flipping him off. I was buzzing all day, and the moment got to me. It was my first time attending a live UFC event, and it was absolutely incredible. I'm glad the incident wasn't as bad as it could have been. Armand thanked the fan for not taking any legal action either. Did you see that the fan apologized for flipping you off? Yeah, thank you. Thank God he didn't sue me. I, Thank you so much. Yes. Yeah, if Dana, if Dana uh, won't give you ticket, I'll give you ticket for UFC 303. Unlike the victim, the commission didn't let Sarukian off the hook, meaning that the 27-year-old, who is currently on a four-fight winning streak, may have to wait for his shot at gold. Champion Islam Akachev wants to fight three times in 2024. He has already fought twice and hopes to bag a third lightweight title defense by October or November. And a fight against Sarukian is only possible if the number one contender releases an anti-bullying PSA approved by the commission. The question is, who will it be against? As things stand, Charles Oliveira appears to be the front runner for the fight. The Brazilian was scheduled to face Makachev at UFC 294, but had to withdraw due to injury. He is coming off a closely contested loss at the hands of Sarukian, yet has a good enough resume and star power to bag a title fight, since there is a dire lack of clear-cut contenders in the division right now. More so, Oliveira was also linked to fights against Dan Hooker and Benoit Saint-Denis in the past couple of days, but he denied all the rumors. Is it a good fight to make? Or should Mateusz Gamera get a golden chance at gold? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.